Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's play Valhalla, the Cyberpunk Bartender Action Simulator. Ah, we're back. Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. Like setting up the music? I'm not entirely sure, but we'll just go with the standard. We're back from our break. All done. Fantastic. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like some heavy-duty tool. Are they talking about what's going on outside? <laughs> You're a heavy-duty tool. Yes, I am. Wait, that... Damn it! Oh, welcome back. Oh, who are you guys? Okay, you look... Interesting. I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lightning. The lighting. Hey, bartender, what did that noise just sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Mm, not you two. Uh, do you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I say it's backfire. It's a gunshot. Firecrackers! <sighs> See, those sounds have been going on all night and we can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Uh, who is he? Jillian, nice to meet you. I don't know, you have more of a John face. Hmm, such a stern look. Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell? I'll have a beer too. Two beers coming right up. All right, I can, I can do that. I can, I can, I can handle two beers. It's just this stuff. Uh, they didn't say big, so I'm just gonna go with the regular sized ones. Poor calm train. Nah, all mixed. Yeah, I can do that. Success. Next. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm on a roll. I got this. I am so incredibly tired. Probably like a real bartender would be. Could imagine sometimes. I don't know. That made no sense. That's... You, you already know that things I say rarely make sense. Anyways, here you go. Thank you. Wait, she's Betty. He's Deal. Okay. Man, after work, beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So tell me, bartender. Y just call me Jill. Jill? That's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. So, what brings you here today? I suggested coming here after work. It's Friday. A drink to kick off the weekend is one of those little things that makes life worthwhile. But he did only suggest it after I found him hugging a stuffed corgi in his office. A stuffed corgi? A plushie. Not an or overfed dog. I see. Wait, you have an office? Yeah. What's weird about that? I thought you have a cubicle or a kennel. A kennel. I mean, you don't want to hear much about office boys getting their own offices. It's not hard, considering the rest of the staff don't use chairs or tables. Even I have my own office. I don't know about that. The mess they left in the bathroom usually requires someone with thumbs. Chairs and tables seem like lesser evils. And you're the veterinarian after all. A kennel. What about a kennel? I don't know, I just thought it'd be cute if one day I went to work and they had one waiting for me. Like they saw me as one of them. So, where did you get that plushie? Oh, I gave it to him. It was my gift last mega Christmas. Wait, so you got defensive over being caught hugging gift you gave him? That's the funniest part. He acted like I didn't know he had it. I was just glad he was enjoying it, you know? Why are you two talking like I'm not here? Because you're not giving any input anyway. So how's the stuff at Doglandia? Well, we recently stuck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's a textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Oh, yeah, that one. I love how this all ties back. Like, there was a alpaca, the alpaca lady in here. We were here some time ago. She got drunk and so much saliva everywhere. Oh. But anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee, and she showed us the higher-ups of some design. 
After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see. I'll have a Brantini. Two Brantinis then. Alright, got, got you covered, guys. Where is that stuff? Brantini. Okay, six Adelheid. Let's not screw this up. Three powder delta. And one cometrine. All aged and mixed. Alright, let's do that again. Six Adelheid. Ah, three powder delta and one cometrine. Aged and mixed. Bam! I'm on a roll. Here you go. You have such a wimpy taste in drinks, deal. Not all of us spend our weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You missed nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Hmm. Something on your mind? That girl that's designing the clothes. Laura? What about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkept cutie category so well, it's almost painful. It's so cliché that I can't help but cringe when I look at her. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliché, you just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. Kick? Betty, I don't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why'd you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine. Guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential. I'm not going to let her waste it. Jill, I'm gonna check the antenna on the roof. Alright. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope, I'm just a veterinarian. The dogs were the ones that organized a meeting with her. I'd say she's a really good looking. She's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Hmm. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome. Damn, she has nice hearing. Now that I think about it, you have that hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based just on their looks. I mean, you did the same thing with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You made that sound like I'm some sort of creep. I... I did? What do you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although, the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said, like you'd like to see that scenario. You're thinking too much. Oh, she's so through the boss. What do you think about Jill, then? Hmm. Hmm. He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in the way that consumes the rest of his character. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have... You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone in your taste on drinks. You'll thank me later. Trust me. Then... Two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well... You shut up. <laughs> okay, two strong manly drinks. Let's, let's find that. Manly drink, the gut punch. Bitter, manly, strong. Sounds good. All right. Uh, five Branson extract, one Flanner giant, and optional karma train. Mix. Oh, agent mixed. Stop. Okay, we gotta gotta try that again. All right. Uh, reset. One, two, three, four, five. Flanner giant and one karma train, and we're aging it and mixing it. Bam. There you go. Next gut punch. Two, three, four, five. One Flanner giant and optional karma train. So easy, so easy, and aging. Nearly messed that up. Cool. Surf. Here. Now drink. <laughs> oh, man up. You'll get used to it. Hey, Jill, has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? 
you know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank. Jill? First year of high school. The guy I had my eyes on a whole year has asked me out. Saturday morning, I go out to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part is that they set it me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it all happened, I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Anyway, why the question? Hey, piece of scrap. Yeah? These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Um... I was asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me for the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spotting nonsense based on what you've told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. <laughs> I see- what? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me most. The Girl Scouts also told me how to skin a deer and I see noth nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor that if Gina's being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina. Which one was that again? Blonde. Flat as cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late. We should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. Please come again. Back. Those damn cats moving the internet antenna. Oh yeah, Jill, some guy said I should tell you that the bunny slayed, whatever that means. Oh shit. Oh shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing's ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. Didgeridoo tutorial. Oh, a news report! Newscaster, this just in! News? At this hour? Well, I'm curious. The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving around 30 people trapped on site. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank... Damn, that's rough. Ah, hello, Jamie. Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? I, I forgot how I did this voice. I think I'd do it, like, super deep or so. The news flash just ended. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Jill stormed off just a minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. All right, Mars Blast. Got that. Uh, name Mars Blast. Mars Bars. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six of those. One part of Delta, four Flanagite. Man, that's a big one. And uh, two Cometrine. And is it aged? Nope, just blended, so we're gonna wait a little bit longer. Spicy, manly, strong. What else would he have? Wonderful. Okay, success, serve. One Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? Then again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. So, how have you been doing? I was working a contract, actually. But the targets inside the Apollo Trust Bank figured I'd simply leave him be for now. And then you came for a drink. Yeah. A part of me wants to ask who your target is, but I'm guessing it's a secret. I can tell you that it appears to be part of its power struggle somewhere. Has a target ever made you a counteroffer to get, go after the one that sent you? They usually don't live it long enough. I also don't like it when a target who's seen my face manages to survive. What happened? Nothing, I just suddenly thought, what if someone sent you after me? I'd reject the contract. Oh, look at him. He looks so nice, like, 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 flabbergasted. You would? I don't ask the name of many people, you know? And I always remember those names who I've asked. They're real in my eyes. I like to know them better, and to some extent, I care about them. I need that because otherwise... Otherwise? 
Nothing you should concern yourself with. But don't worry, unless you suddenly find yourself caught in the middle of a power struggle. The only way I see you becoming tangled up in that kind of mess if you find yourself too involved with gangs. Thanks for the advice, I guess. Still, the thought of people hiring others to kill somebody is... I can't wrap my hand around that, and I don't want to either. The world can be a dark place, Jill. Oh, you look so sad about that. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? This isn't the first time a bank has closed like that, but something is off about this. Off? How? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink out of it. Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? A girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to make personally invested in what happens to clients, but never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah. I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. Alright, let's get him a beer. Beer. I want a beer. I'll make you beer. I'll take some Adelaide and some Bronson extract. And one part of Delta. And two Flanagite. And then four Camatrine. Holy shit, this is insane. And let's let's mix that up. Bam, you got a beer. Here you go. I once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. Just of it that bring it was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped to foster bonds and build factions alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Last time you came, you mentioned something about going haywire. What did you mean? I'm intrigued. Have you ever felt like your sanity has slipped right by you? Well, a client earlier tonight thought was driving me nuts, but aside from that... Truth be told, neither have I, but I'm afraid of it happening. How so? I don't know, I just have the lingering fear that at some point, I won't be myself. I'll go crazy, I'll wake up a stranger to myself and won't care. It's just an irrational fear that lingers in me and there's nothing I can do about it. Like the fear of cockroaches for some people. Mm, only instead of fearing a crawling nuisance, you fear lunacy. Something like that. Sometimes I wonder if uploading my brain would solve all these problems. Well, that technology is still a ways off. I've heard of a couple of experiments regarding technology, but it seems everything's still too buggy. I'll have to wait until it's safe then. Until then, don't worry too much about those possibilities unless they're tangible enough. Otherwise, you're no better than a hypochondriac. Good point. The way you said it makes it sound less like something you might you feel might happen. Something you're just afraid could happen at some point. That's pretty much it, yeah. Doesn't that make you saner? I mean, were you really on your way to becoming an unhinged maniac? I don't know if you think about it at all. Hmm, you might have a point there. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here, always a pleasure. Say hello to Jillian for me when he comes back. Please come again. Whew, all done. You want to stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nanocam module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nanocam? Isn't that a tad expensive? Yep, to be honest, I asked my mom for it. She had been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking for that for four years now and always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her for it. Used up all the past gifts. Oh. Feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So what will be the nanocam module change from your apartment? I got the basic plan, walls and one piece of cloth. So I picked my kotatsus too. You have a kotatsu? You know what a kotatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed you know what it is. I mean, futons are more common knowledge, but a kotatsu? Not so much. Yeah, well, days get cold and the heater might not be in enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should invite me sometimes. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. Let's plan a day to grab a beer. Yeah. Aw. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Ah, she wants to come and stay. We're gonna have a date. Awesome. All right, cool. Get a nice wall pattern or something. A lot of service bonus. Cool. I mean, I'll, I'll get some wallpaper if you need to. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.